So this is Sandell's chapter um, nine video. And right now, look guys, I'm at Walter State. I'm never actually doing videos at the school, so this is a super big deal. Sorry, I just got an email. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get started. So to start off the discussion, the first question that was asked is, is there an abstract self prior to our ends? And if so, explain. And so I definitely agree that um, we do have an abstract self prior to our ends. Um, we are complete individuals. Uh, we do belong to groups. I'm a female. I'm a white female. I'm a white brunette female. I'm a white brunette female that uh, whose name starts with the letter C and it happens to be Chloe. You know, going into that specific. I am who I am. However, I'm just a part of a lot of different groups. Not everyone is going to have this same exact group, which I think is really interesting about um, this chapter, is that we're all a part of groups we had never thought of, but we're not all in the exact same groups. We all might share some groups, but there's not one person in this world that's going to be in all of the same groups as another person, which is super awesome. Um, anyway, getting back off of my um, soapbox, um, we are individuals prior to a group. I'm Chloe. I'm more than just a statistic in a group. I'm more than just one person in a group of 300. Um, I am individual, but I'm a part of a group. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, I am still different than everyone else, but like I said, I have the same similarities, which makes me um, completely unobligated to be in the same group as somebody else. Um, we're going to have similarities. Everyone has similarities, but not every person is the exact same as their neighbor um, or even as their doppelganger in the world. Um, what else do I have in my notes? Um, the abstract self gives um, like better or like more characteristics than what you would have thought, putting yourself in these um, other groups. But also being in these other groups... I, like I said, I'm, a, like you said, I'm an American, or we're, we are American, so technically we're all in the same group, however, that does not put me to blame for what America has done, doesn't put me to blame for what Donald Trump has done, because I'm a white American doesn't mean that I share the exact same um, thoughts or agreements with uh, President Trump, because I'm in this group now, um, this doesn't make me obligated to take the blame for the bombing in Syria this past week because that first off is not my decision and second off it's not my opinion and if it wasn't my opinion people wouldn't listen because I'm not of power that's a group I'm not in <laughs> um, and so for the second discussion question if we have a narrative self concept concept Con concept. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, do group-based obligations logically follow? And if so, explain. Yes, um, it's just like any cause and effect. Um, you do something wrong, you get punished. You do something great, you'll get rewarded. Um, that's the obligations that follow, but group-based, you know, if you um, say that I was an athlete, I'm the most unathletic person, but let's say we, that I was. And I played basketball, and I went and won the Tennessee State Championship. That's a group that I'm in, and I'm sharing the obligations that follow with that with the entire group. If I get you know, a big old championship ring, I mean, heck yeah, I'm going to get that. But I'm not going to have to um, reap the benefits without the physical evidence of it. And so that's kind of an obligation that follows that. Um, but also with this, the obligations that to follow, I'm going to be put into this group but I'm not going to let my basic human rights get in the way of this. Um, I'm a person that I think that my basic human rights come before anything. I'm treated as a person, again, not as a statistic, not of one person in a group of 300 or one person in a group of 4 billion. I'm Chloe. I have a name. I have a face. Um, and so I'm not going to neglect these human entitled rights, my freedom of speech, my... Uh, freedom of opinion, my freedom of press, if I want to go be a journalist. I'm not going to push those to the side and able to pursue these obligations for a different outcome. Um, yeah, so that's my discussion questions. Thanks y'all for listening, and I'll see you later.